But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs>
In Arabic, do they mean the? In the old Aramaic, old Hebrew, mean God. So God, lah. God, lah. That is the moon God. Now we have a Muslim. He is uh, willing to join us. Let us see who is this Muslim. He said, call me and I will bust you. All right. Let us see. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, this guy is he's the same guy. You always call. By the way, nobody heard you because, in case you do not know, you idiot. Just for people like you. I asked him about Allah. He go to the triad seat and he flashed the triad seat and he pissed. His name is Muhammad Aziz. Very respectful nation. And nobody heard you. You know, if I don't tell, but I'm just telling them just to laugh. Uh, just because of idiot like those, nobody heard anything. You can check the audio radar. Potato. Do we have any Muhammadan? He have the courage to tell us who is Allah uh, beside this person who want to piss? Anyone? <clears throat> so the Muhammadan, you go to YouTube. You type the title, who is Allah? Who is Allah? And you will see. Amazing brother, brother Allah, his chair is the size of the earth and the heaven. I'm asking who is Allah? They tell me about the size of his chair. Who is Allah? And one of the funny things about Muslims, you ask them about Allah, they put their finger up. I mean, don't you have a shame? Why you finger your God? And can you make your God by one finger? Who is Allah? Every single of one of those videos are really hilarious and stupidity. You know? Who is Allah? Any Muslim can answer us? If we go and search for articles, we will find the same comedy. Stupid things. Nobody really tell us who is Allah. Let us see. We have a person. His name is Faisal. Maybe he can tell us who is Allah. Okay. Hello? Yes, my friend. You hear me? Yes. You Sorry. have a question. Who is Allah? Yes. Allah is the one and only creator that has created human beings and mankind in jinn. There's your answer. Aren't you the one who left Islam before? I never left Islam, no. Oh, did somebody have the same voice before? I never left Islam. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So, Allah is... Uh, can you repeat again, please? I, I did not hear you. He is... Can you hear me now? Okay, I hear you. But I mean, just to concentrate more. He is the one and only creator that has created... Hmm. Mankind, jinn, human beings, and whatever you see and you don't see. Okay. There's the answer. Okay, I like that. So, Allah is the one who created everything, correct? Correct. Okay. So, we cannot say there is many creators. We can say only there is one creator. Yes, I know. All right. So, when the Quran say Allah is the best of the creators, was that a lie from Allah? That means no one can create like Allah because the Arabic word that's used over there is khalikin. You don't speak Arabic, don't you? Huh? What? You know, you don't know how to say the word Khaliqeen. I am so, not an Arab. Okay, it's no like problem. A, okay, like when Allah he says, issue, right? focus with me. When Allah he says, he is the best of the creators. And you are saying, he don't mean he is the best of the creators. Is that correct? When he says he is the best of the creators, that means no one can create like him. No one can create like him. And this is That's your, this is an answer by scholars or by you. The, that's how scholars interpret it, but you don't understand. Because okay, I will go. I will go with your answer to analyze it. So, guys, no one can create like him. That's mean he. There is many creators, but so, he is. Yeah, like, like, look. For example, uh -huh. can a human being create from material? Can a human, human being create what? Can Can a human being create a tree if they have wood? Well, when Allah He compared Himself to the creators, He's comparing Himself to who? 
He's not comparing himself to anyone. He's no, the second you say, I am the best. His wisdom. No, no, this is not wisdom. This is silly. This is silly because if I say I am the best, you see, my friend, it says I am the best in what? And he decides exactly in what, correct? He says he is the best of the creators. Exactly. So he is the best of the creators. That means there is two things attached to him now. So you're he, telling me a human being cannot create stuff? No, a human being cannot. Yes, they can. No, he cannot. A human being can't create a bicycle? Oh, you see, when the God of Islam, he speak, he speak about creating life, not creating a bicycle. Exactly. Because, a, because a creating bicycle is not a creation, my friend. This is a creative... You speak, I'll let you speak. This okay. is a creative idea. This is not a creation. The Quran itself get you busted in that. Isn't it the Quran says that the one who is worthy of worship is the one who can create a fly? Again, you're getting it out of context. No, I'm not. The Quran decide that while you worship somebody, he, don't, he cannot even create a fly. So when the God, what the God of Islam speak about creator, creators, you know, he is the one who give life. Read carefully. Men here is, uh, uh, here is a parable set forth. Listen to it. Those whom beside Allah, you call cannot create even a fly. Correct? Hello? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Go ahead. Okay, I just read the verse for you. So Allah himself, he, t he told you, well, who is the one is worthy and what is creator mean is the one who can create even a fly. It, it does not mean the way you're interpreting it. I am not interpreting any. We can open an uh, interpretation by scholars and we can read. It does not say what you're saying. And if you go back okay. to the uh, verse that you're, your, about, you're cho talking about. Choose an interpretation Mu'minun. of your wish and we can open it and we can read it. Go ahead. Are you talking about Surah Mu'minun, ayat number 14? No, we are talking about Al-Hajj. In verse, Surah Mu'minun, ayat number 14, it says Allah is the best of the creators. No, I'm talking now about Al-Hajj, the creation of the fly. But why are you going to Al-Hajj if you're Because you said to me Surah this is Mu'minun. about creating a bicycle. Because if Allah, he says, he is the best of the creators, and he is comparing himself to someone who create bicycle, that means he create bicycle soon. He's not. Does it say in the ayat that he is comparing himself? Or are you adding the word comparing from your Well, mouth? when I say I am the best, this is what compare is. Compare is you comparing yourself to others. When he say I am the best... Of the creators. Of he's the best. He's okay, the so now you are the one of who chose a creating a okay. Well, you are the one who chose a creating a bicycle, correct? Hmm? You are the one who chose creating as an idea, creating a bicycle, correct? Well, that's what a human can do, right? That's okay, the, that, that's, that's mean Allah. That's mean Allah. He create a bicycle better than their bicycle. No. Okay, that that means because no, because when we when, when we make a challenge, listen, listen, when we make a race, we make a race about who is the faster in speed. We have to define what is the race is about. When we say who is the best cook, that we're talking about food. When we say talking uh, about the creation, who is the best in creation? So if the creation is about, uh, let us say now we have an, uh, 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 like a challenge, who is the best one who can make a bicycle? According to you, this is a creation. So Allah is one of those who they ad admitting to this race. And Allah, he says, he is the best one who can make a bicycle. That is even more, more funny and more silly. didn't say that. This is your, your definition. It is you who said the bi bicycle, not me. I know. I, you told me what can a human being do. This no, like this is being? not about a human being. You see here, the, talking is, is the verse itself, they, they tell you. Is talking about what and why you are ignoring the verse? Why you must tell me? You must tell me if we read something you say you are taking it out of context. Here it's talking about creating exactly life. Exactly. So okay. you're telling me human beings are not creators? No, hold on. They cannot create a life. It's in the front of you. Can a human being create a mutfa? Can a human being create a, a blood? Can a human being create a lump? Can a human being create a flesh? So the verse itself is speaking about creating creation of a human. Exactly. This exactly. Is so how he can be the best of the creator? So how he can be the best of the creators if there is if 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 there is the, no one no no one can beat him in that field and no one is in competition with him. You. You just busted yourself, uh -huh. what you just said. Okay. You just said flesh, blood, exactly, right? Uh-huh. So you just busted yourself. That's showing the greatness of Allah, subhanahu you see, wa ta'ala. You see, you see how silly this religion? So Allah, he compared himself. He is talking about he is the best in what? And he is talking about creating nutfa, which is a semen, and talking about uh, the baby became a clot, which is stupid. 
and the nutfa became a blood, dead blood. And then from the dead blood, we made a lump and the flesh. And then you are saying to me, when he say he is the best of the creator, he is not asking, he is not saying, I am the, the best between many who make a human. Because he's told you in the verse, he is making what? Yeah, I told you, he's showing his greatness. No, he's not showing his greatness. He's showing his foolishness. Because if he is the only creator, you don't say, I am the best of the creators. And you are talking specifically about creating a human. In different verse, the Quran says, Allah, he compared himself to Baal. Is that correct? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Surah uh, thir chapter 37, verse 125. Yeah, yeah. You're, you must tell me you memorize verses, but you don't know what the verse is saying. So I Allah is the best know. of the creators compared to who? You don't know. Compared to who? Who, who? who worships idols? Compared to who? Who worships idols? Chapter 37, verse number 125. Allah, he I compared know. himself to Baal. Is that correct? No, he did not. Okay, read the verse for us. It says, do you call upon Baal and leave the best of the creators? Exactly. Who is Baal? Baal is an idol. He's God, not, not idol. Baal, Baal is an idol. You can go to the tafsir. No, the, the, no you see, you are, you, are, you are silly again. Baal is a God who have statues in the earth. A human, they made a status for him. So don't fool yourself. He is God. He is God. Idol. Your God is an idol too. No. Well, your God is an idol. Okay, well, hold on. You Muslims, don't you believe that Allah have a house? What? Allah have a house? You're talking about the mosque? I'm not. I'm talking about you, your God. Do Allah have a house? Oh, I, that, that's a very foolish question. I don't know where you're coming from. I, I have a foolish question for a smart person like you. Why can't it answer me? You, you answer me. You brought it up. Do Allah have a house? Not that I know of. The only thing I know, if you take so it in context... So, when Muhammad, he went to heaven... When Muhammad, he went to heaven, there is something in heaven, it's called Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur. Okay. What is Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur? You tell me. What's wrong with the Muslims? You tell me, you call me to answer, and you tell us about your God. And now I ask, are you going to say to me three opinion? What is Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur? Are you telling me? You never heard of this word before? Yeah, I got <laughs> <laughs> Why you hang up? Just tell me there's a three opinion. You know? If your God is a supreme, there's nothing can put him together, there's nothing can describe him, the chair is in the size of the and then we find him he's sitting in a house. You tell me. I tell you what, I tell you that you Muslims run away like a chicken. He is the one who says to me, call me, I will get you busted. It did not even last for 60 seconds. I don't know. You can count the seconds. Your God is an, is an idol God too. And you have a black stone. You can say you claim this is the right hand of Allah. Isn't this what your prophets say? So this city God, you know, is, is, is the, the problem is they, uh, uh, they have a fantasy about their God, you know. They have fantasy about their heaven. It's a sexual heaven. His penis will be endless. The private part will never go limp. His penis will be, excuse me, hard forever. The women, she have big boobs. It's a fantasy religion. And, uh, and then you, the second you start reading about this cult, you will find that this God cannot be God. I mean, I... I Allah, he says he is the best of the creator, and then he says to me, don't you create a bicycle? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this? If this is the, if this is the case, that means Allah, he created bicycle too. Still, that will not change anything. He is the best of the creators. So, and the funny, the, uh, the Muslim, they say the Quran in Arabic is amazing, brother, amazing. It's so good. It's so clear. And then they said to you, it doesn't say that, CP. Here he's speaking about creating the human, which is a very stupid way. Anyone who have a little knowledge of, uh, of uh, biology, he knew that this is a joke. What the heck is that? The sperm became dead blood? I remember my cousin once, he had his sperm in the ch chicken counter, the kitchen counter, sorry. We came second day. I told him, don't leave it there. 
Second day, we find a big, big, big piece of meat. Huge one. We left for vacation. We came after 40 days. We became, the, 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 the piece of blood became a clot. And then become a lump. Look who is calling. Safaraz Hussein again. Hey, Safaraz, how are you? Hello, CP. How are you, my friend? You still alive? I'm okay. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Mash is mash well, mashallah. What does that mean? <laughs> what mashallah mean? Mashallah. All praise to Allah. All glory to Allah. We I mean, you, you Muslims Allah. are the most funny dummy people ever. Mashallah. I mean, all praise to Allah. <laughs> alhamdulillah means all. No, no, no. You, I asked you what mashallah mean. You said to me, all praise to Allah. All thanks to Allah. All thanks. Okay, let me repeat that question again. You said to me, MashaAllah. What MashaAllah mean? Means all praise. Uh, who is the idiot who says that to you? Hmm? Give me the name of the donkey he said that to you. MashaAllah mean all praise to Allah now? Do you want to call a friend? No. No, it means like... It means do you want to search Google? No, no, it means like... you want to call like, your mother-in-law? It means like... Okay, ask your wife, like, Safaraz, ask your wife. Maybe she'll have a better answer. answer. I don't know, you, know, you don't have an answer. Come on, you're a dummy like the rest of them. I have, I have an answer for you. You just it told me, like, you just told me the answer, you forgot? No, no, it means al, alhamdulillah means all praise. But I'm not asking about means, alhamdulillah. What's wrong with you? I'm asking you, uh, mashallah, you said to me, it's meaning all praise to Allah. What mashallah mean? Like, it means like what you know what Allah has uh, will. Ah, Allah has will. <laughs> Finally, okay. So thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Safaraz, I have carrot here. You want some? Your religion needs out of carrot. I think your vision is weak, like your prophet, and your brain is weak, like your God. But listen, what happened? You just open a topic will destroy your prophet. And your religion, do you know why? Why? Is everything happened by the will of Allah? Uh, no, because, yeah, because at the day he gives us... Safaraz, so you confuse the hell of everybody. You said, yeah, no. No, because there is a yes or no, because he has given us... I want, you, you know me, don't make me hang up on you. Don't tell me there is opinion. I'm asking you, everything happened in this earth, is it by the will of Allah or not? Yeah, obviously. Obviously, thank you very much. Who is the one who taught your prophet the word shit, mashallah? Eh? Huh? Who is the one who taught your prophet to say mashallah? Mashallah. Hmm. Obviously, obviously, it'll be Allah, didn't it? No, it was a Jew. Come on. Come on. So for us, I want to ask you a serious question. Are you paid by somebody to make Islam look stupid? I, you know how much people are following me? I'm asking you a serious question. Are you paid by Allah to make Islam more stupid than it is? Allah, we work for Allah for free. You don't ask for no. What for free? You don't ask for no cash. We got focus nothing. with me. Focus, focus. I say that the one who told your prophet about Shah Allah is a Jew. You said, come on. Did you say that? <laughs> Yeah, mashallah, alhamdulillah, these are all like... No, 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 no. Are... listen, listen carefully. Let me repeat. The one who taught your prophet to say that word is a Jew. You said to me, come on. Okay. Say it one more time, and I will make you admin for life when the chat is closed. <laughs> so you tell me that the, that the Jew believed in Allah then, yeah? No. So this is what you Muslim says. I mean, I don't know. I say, you see, that that's what you Muslim says. A Jew, he came to teach your prophet Tawheed. Your prophet is a mushrik. So your prophet, he claimed to be a prophet. And then a Jew, his name is Jack Shalom. He's my friend, by the way. We used to sell falafel together in Jerusalem. So he said to Muhammad, you are a mushrik. And you associate God with God. And you say, you, you know, you will. When you should say, you should say Allah will. Read it in front of you. Yeah. Hmm. A Jew? Who? A Jew. 
He came to your prophet. You're Muslim. You have a big mouth talking. We believe in Tawheed. We believe in Tawheed. It turned to be that the one who taught you Tawheed is a Jew. Read it, uh, Safaraz. Don't, don't hang up like the one before you, Faisal Hussein, whatever his name. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hanging up. What? What? I said I'm not hanging up. You're hanging up there. You're not talking. No, I was. But if it, okay, okay. If it was Jew, okay then. Don't but tell me, okay, okay. What kind of a prophet? You do not know how, how to, or what Shah Allah mean. A Jewish guy is the one who taught him how to use it? So what, what Allah was teaching him, what Allah was teaching him recipe, how to make a, a hummus? Allah was teaching him also, also for 23 years. Okay. He was the only 20, prophet. 23 years, and your prophet was not, was associating other gods with a god. It's in front of you. And, the, and you're a prophet, he listened to the Jew and he started teaching the Muslim to do as the Jew said. Because there were some Jews up. Some what? Allah as well. There were some Jews This is not the topic. Focus me, you know, as a for us. Honestly, thank God you are not my neighbor. I will commit suicide if you are my neighbor. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I will, I will jump from the window. I will, I, will, I will sell my house for a penny and just leave. Listen carefully. I'm asking you a serious question. What kind of a prophet? He is a prophet for 23 years, as you claim. And then a Jew walk him by. He get him busted. He says, stupid Muhammad. How in the world you say this? That's mean you are associating other with God. You are a mushrik. You are a pagan. Muhammad, he agreed. And he took what the Jew taught him. And he started his followers to do what the Jew said. So is that Jew Allah? Should I call the ambulance? Yeah. So it's only a small thing. It's only a small little thing you're on about. A, you know, Safaraz, when you talk about small things, is that are you talking about your private, the private part of your profit? No, the main thing is Tawheed. That's the main thing. But the small thing, the, the guy, all your Muslims, you are proud about Tawheed. And by the way, Tawheed means unification. So how you worship one God and then he to be and to be unified, that's mean you believe in Trinity? So he is, this is Tawheed, mean Echad, not one. Tawheed, go and ask anyone. If you type right now the word Tawheed in Arabic, you will find that the word Tawheed come as unification of many to be one, not one. You cannot unify, you cannot unify what is one. Now listen carefully. This is not a small thing. A prophet of God, he should be taught the first thing that his God is one, correct? Yeah. Okay. Why he is doing it wrong and he is teaching, associating with God. And then a Jew, not the God, who he worship, he walked by, maybe he went, met him with Walmart or whatever, you know, in the shopping mall. Muhammad was by, or, you know, he was like flirting with little, little girls, you know, you know, Muhammad, <laughs> never changed the habit. So uh, he saw him, he said, Abdul, Muhammad, what the heck you are doing? You are sitting up a vial with Allah, between two brackets, Allah, the God, you know. Uh, and associating others with him. This is a big accusation, and you are telling me this is a small thing? Our prophet accept Allah from day one. Your prophet accept Allah from day one? He, 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 was, he was in a cave. He was in a cave. Mm. Worship idols. Ah. Worship idols. I mean, look, and look, and look, and look, look at the connection. Hold on, hold on. Guys, I asked the Muslims why Muhammad is associating somebody with his God. The answer is Muhammad, he eat hummus and he was in a cave and he was a, he was you know, he believed. Like, what the heck is that? He what what does have to do with my question? And Muhammad, his, his shoes is, uh, his size is 41. Do focus with me. We are talking about a God. Who you're a prophet supposedly speaking about him all the time, yet he do not know if he's God, how to, how to speak about him, and he is associating others with him. Who cares if he was in the cave or in was in a in a in a in a spaceship? 
I'm asking you, stop. what kind of a pro focus, Abdul? Focus, stop, stop, hashish. I told you so for us. Hashish is not good. So, listen, the God of the hashish, he gave inspiration to the prophet of the hashish. And now, you followers of the hashish, you are giving me hashish answer. Who is the, who is the one who can give us an answer? This guy, he claimed to be a prophet. And his God is teaching him, he sent a special angel, his name is Jibreel, and the name is wrong, Jibreel, what the heck is that? He took the Jibreel, he took the look of a man, the Hekalbi, the boyfriend of Muhammad, and he was teaching Muhammad 24 hours, seven days a week. And then this Jibreel, he forgot to tell Muhammad, you idiot, what are you doing? You are associating somebody with God. What happened to you, Sephiroth? Yeah, I'm here. Do you want carrot? No. Our well, prophet taught us from day one to worship Allah and no one else. Yeah, what day one? Is that day one or day two or day, day five or day ten? I mean, what? Or year ten? A Jew walk by, you know, and why always the Jew is the one who get Muhammad busted? And he you know, like, and what's why Muhammad did not say to him, you are wrong, man. He followed what the Jew, he said blindly. What if the Jew is lying to him? What if this Jew is a bad Jew? Huh? Isn't the Quran says all of them they are bad? So how how you follow what uh, the advice of a Jew? And what kind of a prophet he himself taking his religion from a Jew? Not take religion. He, there were some good Jews, believers, and there were some evil Jews. So the Quran is wrong because Allah he cursed all the Jews. No, yes, no, 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 no. He's not cursed all the Jews. Nope. Okay, I want to ask you a story because this is making me worry. As you know, tomorrow is Saturday. I heard. Yeah. If I fish in Saturday, Allah will make me a pig and a monkey. Is that true? No, that Sabbath rule is over now. That law is finished. Wow. Why is finished? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What finish? What finish? What are you? What are you? What? Listen, what finish? Why you are why you are lying, Sephiroth, to me? Do you think uh, uh, Sephiroth? Listen, the, the Quran is say clearly that Allah He command the Jews, the Jews. This is the command forever, and we can show the Hadith to this to to not to do anything in Saturday, specifically fishing. Is that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> so why the Jews today they do fishing and nothing happened to them? No, that was at the time of uh, Moses. Ah, in the time of that Moses. Verse, that verse you're on about, that verse that they've got. Ah, okay. So, so according, to your, according to your religion, the Hashish religion, if somebody rape a woman in Saturday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, it's okay for Allah. But if you fish in Saturday, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. No, there was a small group that... Doesn't matter, those are the ones who was doing fishing on Saturday. Sabbath, there's a small group that's heading. I don't care, a small group, the whole village. What are you talking about? The whole village, he made them. Village. Oh, no, no, it was not a whole village. He did not turn the whole village in, into apes and pigs. You want to bet? You want to bet? No, no, no. There was a certain group. There was a certain group that did not. Uh... Don't tell me, no, 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 Abdul. It's in front of you. It says, Do you remember the town in the sea? Allah, he made them all pigs and monkeys. The verse in front of you. What's wrong with you? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 you know. With the first kid, the Sabbath. Hmm. No, uh, oh, no, it doesn't say. It, it does not say all of all of them. It says all of them. It said, "Do you remember the town?" And, but, and the funny is, uh, uh, Allah is saying to Muhammad, "Ask them, Muhammad, about that village, the town by the sea. Which which one is that?" And uh, they they transgress in the matter of Sabbath, i.e., Saturday. Then. Their fish come to them openly in Sabbath. So Allah, he made the fish come and play uh, play, uh, play in the front of them, belly dancing. The fish, yeah. they go on the top of the water. They say, ah, 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 I'm here, Safaraz, I'm here. Catch me if you can. And then those Jews, they are hungry and they don't, the fish doesn't come except in Saturday. So Allah, Allah, he made the fish come in only Saturday. And those, they are hungry. They want to feed their children. They are fishermen. So the fish come only in Saturday, every Saturday. They disappear the whole week, and Allah make the fish come in Saturday, and they do, they do show in the sea, in the, in the shore, like the dance, breathing, dancing, you know, without a bra, by the way, naked. 
Mm. And then yeah. those people, they can't take it no more. So they decide to fish because they want to eat. So they fish on Saturday and then Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys, brother. He made a certain group, uh, pigs and monkeys, a certain group of them. Yeah, it says, happened. no, it says all of them read it. When they forgot, they didn't say some of them, why are you adding things to your Quran, Zafaraz? By the way, who is the one who know, named you Zafaraz, your dad or your mom? Huh? What's that? Who is the one who named you Zafaraz, your dad or your mom? I don't have a clue. Have Do you think your dad them. and your mom, they named you this name because they were suffering? Since, had, no. since they have you? Zafaraz is a Muslim name. Huh? It's a, it's a, a Muslim name. Sefaraz is a Muslim name. A Muslim name. What is that? Well, well, that? Where we can find this name in any hadith? No, you don't find it. It's just just uh, Google it and it'll, it'll come up Sefaraz and the meaning hmm. of it. Uh, Sefaraz and Mickey Mouse. Okay, let's continue. So here we have in front of us God who made the pigs, who made Jews, pigs and monkeys for fishing on Saturday. But your God, he will not make any Muslim who rape, who killed, who do, you know, any all the crimes, and he is fine with it. But if you fish in Saturday and you are a Jew, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. And uh, you said that this was for the time, that time, right? That time of Moses, it was a test for the... For the okay, for I, have the, a, I have a surprise for you. You are, a, you, are you know, I, I don't want to insult you, you know? I feel sorry for you, actually. Here we go. Your God, he says, no, your God, he says, this is not for temporary time. And your God, even he threat the Christians like me, if you don't believe in Muhammad, Allah will erase your eyebrows. By the way, I have no eyebrows. And your eyes, and I have no eyes. And he will make them in the back of your head and your mouth too. So according to your God, Allah, he told the Christian and the Jew, if you don't believe in Muhammad, police be upon him. And what is came with him, I will erase your faces, making them like back to the neck of the neck, without nose. Uh, Safaraz, you see, this is a serious threat, you know? And what? mouth and eyes, etc. Even there is no anus. Unbelievable. I don't know how we were going to do poo, poo And then turn them inwards, or curse them as we curse the Sabbath breaker. So this is, was not temporarily, this is a threat for all the Christian and the Jews. The same as he did to those who curse who break the Sabbath. The curse for break Sabbath is not temporarily. <clears throat> and now, uh, Safaraz, if you're God, Allah, the Muslim, they claim he is the almighty, the all-powerful. He don't have a flat tire, never have one, never. You know, but he don't have tires. Uh, but anyway, he threatened the Christian and the Jews. If you don't believe in him, he will erase our faces. How? Why he's not doing it? It doesn't happen on the doesn't happen on the day of judgment. You see how hypocrite you are. When we spoke about the breaking Sabbath, you said this is before. He this is saying, of, listen. He did not. He did not say. He did not say uh, the judgment day. He said the same as with to those who break the Sabbath. He did not say in the judgment day. He says now. You have you kitab. Aminu now now, not later. It says now. It says now. It's front of you. Okay. Read it. Huh? Believe in what revealed to you. We have revealed to you. Believe now. The same, and he will curse us, and he will erase our faces, the same he did already. The people of the book, who they have fishing on Saturday, Allah did not wait for the judgment day, and he told us he would do the same. But, which means it's not a judgment day. This will happen right away. And then the Christian, they laugh at him. You can open the interpretation. They say to him, okay, erase our faces. Your God is a joker. Have you ever I seen a Christian? Like have you ever seen a Christian? His mouth became in his back, and it's uh, have his stitches, and he lost his eyebrows and his eyes, and his ears become in his butt. Before we, before we face his huh? Or curse them. Yeah, but it does not say now. It does not say now. It just give me a, a warning. Mm. It does not say the word now. It's not there in, in that verse. Did he but compare? Did he compare them the same as he did already? The same yeah, as he did already. So, it. so he would do it warning. now. No, this is a threat for the time. No, he's he's giving it for the whole. Okay, of the, listen, listen, the, listen. Let us go. Let us go back to zero. I'm going to give you a chance before I hang up on you. 
Maybe we See, can Peter, get a, thing, yeah. one, no, no, maybe we can get a better one, 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 one question. You're not letting me answer one, one question, yeah. In hmm. the Quran, Allah says, yeah, those who are Christians, Jews, Sabians that believe in him, they're gonna have no worry. They're gonna be in heaven. It's just like you cursed out Christians and you'll be in hell. You cursed out Christians and you'll be in hell. Hmm. There, there are some good Christians out there, good Christians and Jews. Okay, so for us, so for us, your teaching in touch, heaven. your your teaching touch, uh, uh, you know, have a touch, you know. So, so for us, if I convert to Islam, I heard that I will get versions who have a big vagina. If you if you accept Islam, all hmm. your passes are, are given. All your passes are forgiven. See, if, you've got if, a chance, if, if, either accept okay, Islam well, or I will, I will, I will insult Allah until you know until like before I die, I will say shahada and I'm done. Allah says, no, no, you can't do that. Why can I do Pharaoh that? Right now. Pharaoh did that in the sea. He said, I believe in the God of Moses. But Allah said to him, no, it's too late. Go okay, to did, you, did you mention, did you, did you mention Pharaoh? Pharaoh in the sea when, when he was going to die, he said, I I know, him. I know. But did you mention Pharaoh? Yeah. Did you just say the, the word Pharaoh? Heron, yeah. Pharaoh. Who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh, the, the bloody evil, bloody ruler isn't it? of, of mm, Egypt. Okay, let me ask you. You Muslim, you claim that Moses was sent as a messenger only for the Jews, correct? The messenger for the children of for who? Israel. For Israel. So why why Allah no. sent him to the Pharaoh? <laughs> because the worst of the were the children of Israel. Yeah. Listen, listen, you Muslim, you keep lying and saying that the yes. only prophet was sent to all mankind is Muhammad. Correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. but the Quran says that Allah He sent Moses and Aaron to the Pharaoh. Yeah. So how fair, uh, how how you Muslim you say that the only one was sent to all mankind is Muhammad, and then we find oh, hold on. So okay, I ask you, ask you, Moses was sent to who? You said to the children of Israel, correct? Yeah. Okay, and Allah did send Moses to Pharaoh or to the Jews. Allah sent Pharaoh, I mean, uh, Moses to free the children of Israel who are under. Why you are talking like a robot yeah. machine? You, uh, you, you, you are cutting out. Listen, I'm asking you, uh, did Allah send the Pharaoh, Allah sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh or to the Jews? He, he, he warned, uh, Pharaoh to, warned Pharaoh to set free the children of Israel. He, set free the uh, hey, hold Israel. on. No, he asked him to believe. Yeah, he's he, he's saying he said to him. Okay, so that's mean. That's mean. The, that's mean. Moses let was sent. Go. That's mean. Moses was sent as a prophet to Egypt too. No, who was his uh, slaves? Who was Pharaoh's slaves? The children of Israel. They were his slaves. That's why he went. Do we have any smart Muslim? He have. He can put one sentence together. If there is any smart Muslim, he can put one sentence together. Anyone? This is how we create this religion. It's just a stupid cult story is mixed up. And the, and the stupid Muhammad, he thinks that Pharaoh is the name of the Pharaoh. You see, in Arabic it says Pharaoh, not the Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Uh, in Arabic, maybe you can do that in English, but in Arabic, if the Pharaoh is a title, you don't say Pharaoh, you say the Pharaoh. And Muhammad, because he's an idiot, he thought that Pharaoh is the name. This is why we find that Muhammad, he add the word Al before the word Pharaoh. Muhammad, you think this is the name? This is not a title. Ali Pharaoh, look how many times. Ali Pharaoh, Ali Pharaoh, Ali Pharaoh, Ali Pharaoh, all over. If we type the word Al by itself, we will find Ali Ibrahim. Ali Musas, see, Al, Musas, Al means the family of Musas. Musas is the individual. You don't put the word Al before a title, you, uh, you put it before the name, individual name. This is a chapter 2, verse number 248, Alu Musas.
and this is chapter 3 verse 11 Ali Pharaoh and this is chapter 4 verse number 54 Ali Ibrahim the family of Abraham hmm? so the city Muhammad he think that Pharaoh is a person his name is Pharaoh and he come with the story he's trying to merge his own fictions you know Muhammad is a thief he steal stories and he need to add some spices so nobody will know that he stole it it's like somebody he stole a bicycle and it's owned by his neighbor so what he do he paint it he add things here there so maybe nobody will notice that this is the same bicycle but the more he add the more the story becomes stupid and dummy Who is a Muslim willing to call us and tell us who is Allah? Until now, the Muslims, they feel Allah is the best of the creators. I never heard of a stupid statement more than this, that there is a God who supposedly the Muslim, they keep saying to us, he's the only creators. And they claim that the Quran in Arabic is perfect, amazing, which is really silly. If you speak Arabic, you would die laughing. And then yet he come and he say, he is the best of the creators. And then the Muslim, the, the smart Muslim, he tried to say to me, don't you buy and make a bicycle? Well, that will make it even more stupid. That's mean Allah, he compared himself to those who can make a bicycle. And the funny is, you say, that the Muslim, they keep saying that you cannot compare Allah to anything. But Allah compared himself to those who might make bicycles, according to you. Let us see, maybe we have a Muslim. Why you are not telling the truth? Uh, we have a Muslim, he is upset. <coughs> Hello? Uh, we have ultimate fault, guys. You want to run? You want to laugh? Run. <laughs> you want, you want to laugh? Okay, ultimate fault. You are you are the best of the creators. Can you answer how Allah is the best of the creators? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Don't use bad language. No bad language. Okay. Unless you use. Okay, go ahead. Language. Allah is the best of the creators. How does that work? You see, you already answered. You already asked a question. Show us how Allah is the best of uh, the best of the creators. Just now, just shut up and wait for an answer. Simple. Right. Right, CP? I'm giving you time to talk. talk. You said, don't talk. I'm listening. Okay, go ahead. Don't waste my time. There's a lot of Muslims like you. We all laugh at them. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us hmm. that, that create, he created the world. He created the seven heavens. He created the earth. He created us. He created. But he said hmm. what we created as closing, he's the one that letting us create what we create. We create clothing, we create houses, we create whatever we need to create to survive here. But with his permission, he inspired people to create cars, to create planes, to create anything. That's one. Second, the angels. He gave permission to the angels to create. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, go ahead. When Allah said, he uses the, the 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 thing us when he said us you uh -huh. go to chapter to chapter 18 uh -huh. verse let's read together yeah chapter Quran, 18 chapter 18 verse what 50 i believe okay 50 I, I, eight, 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 chapter 18 verse number 50 go ahead you got you see allah created the bashar hmm. the 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 i created the bashar and the we the us created the ins. Hmm. See, this, you don't know the no, distinction. No. So hold on, uh, uh, he created the human and? Hold on, uh, let me read the verse first. Mm -hmm. mm. God said, okay, listen, listen to this. Mm -hmm. We, over here, we said to the angels, you see how you got in, in, two, in 230, he said, let me compare you the 230 and the 1850 and, mm. the, and the 1850 so you understand mm. because 
I got to educate you. That's why I said, call me daddy. Mm. Uh, you, you, you stopped calling go me ahead, daddy. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, yeah. Recall uh, chapter, two, uh, chapter 2, verse 30. Recall that your Lord said to the angels, mm. your Lord, your Lord, who said your Lord, Allah, mm. said to the angels, I'm placing a, 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 a Khalifa on earth. They said, will you then, etc. He taught them the names. He said, oh, Adam, tell them. Mm. When, you know, and he, and he asked the angels, he, Allah, asked the angels, fall prostrate for Adam, etc. Mm. It's he, Allah, 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 he is him, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. But when you go to, when you go to now to 1850, we said, not I, we said to the angels, fall prostrate for Adam. They fall prostrate except say, Satan, mm. uh, Iblis. Mm. He was a jinn, or he was among the jinns, for he disobeyed the, the, law, the order of his Lord. So who is we in number 50? We, exactly. The we are the uh, Allah and the angels and the high, the, the alims. Okay. Now, if you go to if you, those close angels, the high society that Allah calls the Aliens. The, Call Allah them what? Call them what? The Aliens. The Alien? The, the Alien. The uh, Al Mukarrabuns. Okay. The, uh -huh. close so, so those, so those are, they are creators too. They're the ones that put the like, the, like the light. We place God. We, the we place God. Allah created the set. The heavens, not the we. Allah created the the heavens and the earth, uh -huh. but who put the gods? Who put the light? The oh. we. What, what, we. Do you, what do you mean by put the light? He created the light or put the light? What does that mean? Put them there. We put gods. You know, put gods. You, you you do not create the god. If if you put gods around it, the gods were already there. You had to put the gods around. It. You know what? Gods or gods? You mean gods? Gods, like the, the lights, the, the stars, the okay. gods. So the one who created the stars is the angels? No, they put them. What do you mean God put them? What do you, what do you mean they put them? So Allah created them, put them in the floor, and then the angels, they put them in places? Uh, something like that, not floor. But not but floor. I will go with you, which is very funny. No Muslim accept that, but I will go with you. But this doesn't make them creators. If I take a ball... If I take essay. a ball and I hang it in a tree, doesn't make me creator. <laughs> if you go to 15, chapter 15, uh -huh. I'll prove it to you. Okay. Go to uh, chapter 55, verse 15. 55. Hmm. Oh, uh, you're in ignorance. Uh, I was yesterday in a live in a live thing with a uh, duck duck and thing. Yeah, they yeah. said no. Did they laugh at uh, you hardly? No. They said uh, you should be laughing at them. For, for, okay, go, go. Just, just tell me. Okay, so uh, first of all, first of all, you know, people will die laughing at you because you are making things up. If there is a single Muslim agree with you that the angels did that, that if there is a single Muslim believe in what you just said to me. Listen, I care about what God says. I am asking you, if there is a single Muslim who believe in what you are saying? I don't care. Okay, I then I say I hang up on you because you say stupid things nobody care for, and I don't care if you believe in that or not. You are just a monkey. You are just a donkey. I don't care. It's not an answer. Don't waste my time. So you make things up, and then you say to me, I have answer for you. And now the angels, they hang up the stars. What does this have to do with the creation? You said, before you could reach that point, you said there's many creators beside Allah. And you said angels are created. It's recorded. And they tell he will deny he did not say that. Never tell me when you call me idiot, potato. I don't care. I will hang up on you. When Allah he says he is the best of the creators, that means he is a creator and there's other creators. No matter who. Hey, Faisal, how are you? Yes. I lost my connection. Do you so agree I... with the guy? He said that there is a society of a creator with Allah when he say we? He, he's talking nonsense. No, what do you mean? He is a true believer. He's a Muslim. He, uh, I, I don't think he's a Muslim. What do you mean? This guy, he knew the Quran very well and he's a big sheikh in Nigeria. He, he doesn't accept... This guy is the mufti of Nigeria. There's more than one person follow him. He doesn't... The things he is saying, no Muslim agrees with. 
Okay, so where this guy is getting his information from? Let, let, let's go back to what we were talking about. Okay. okay. So, so, but you, where, where so is, is Allah is the only uh, person who created things or there is people beside with him? So either you're going to talk or I'm going to speak. We can't speak. No, you're just to confirm speak. what he said. I want to make it clear. You, I told you, uh -huh. I told you, I told you, I said that when Allah says that, he's showing his greatness. And then what happened What do you mean his greatness? Like, what you, do you mean? What do you mean? Explain. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, you see, when you say something to me, I have to focus word by word. You said when yes, Allah, he said that, he showed his greatness. How he showed his greatness? Can I explain? Go ahead. Thank you. Mm. You told me from your mouth, mm. not my claim, your mm. claim that you said with your mouth. You said in Surah Mu'minun, ayat number 14, Mm. When it says in English, because I clearly told you earlier, I can't really speak Arabic because mm. it's not my tongue. Okay. I'm not from from an Arab country. Mm -hmm. But when it when the translation says in English that the blood cloth and all those examples that were shown in Surah Muminun Ayat number 14, mm. this is showing the greatness, meaning no one can do that. Only Allah can like, for example, uh, no human being can give life to a child. No human being can can create the sky. No human being can make the sun rise and set. This is not under human power. So mm. when Allah gives explanations, like in many verses of the Quran, he shows his greatness. When he says he is the best of the creators, that means like when a human being creates a tree from wood, this is what a human can do. This is their knowledge, which you're not understanding when I try to explain to you. When when a human being creates a car, when a human being creates a bicycle, this is what a human being is capable of doing. But Allah is not comparing. To I want to ask you in the time, the in the time being. of Muhammad, Allah, in the time, finish. in the time of Muhammad. No, no, in the time of Muhammad, there was people creating bicycle and car. No, at that time. What they were creating at that time? What they were, what they were creating at that, what they were creating, what they were creating at that time. Other stuff that is like what? Like do. what? I, I don't know a home. Program. Don't tell me I do not know. I, I will hang up on you. You see, the Muslims, you, you, you give me opinion and you start, I don't know, my adri, whatever. And then I'm asking a question. Either you have an answer or you don't. So you said that this is about comparing to the creation of the human. What the people in the time of Muhammad were creating. Now, when I try to answer you, you want to hang up? No, you just said to me, I do not know. I. Because you won't let me finish. No, I just said to this you, are you, you are finished. And I asked you, okay, in the time of Muhammad, the, you said this is about you. creating bicycle. I, okay, today we have bicycle. This is not a long time ago. In the time of Muhammad, I, people, they created what? Because this message I, came to Muhammad in the time of Muhammad. What people were creating at that time? Can I answer you? Stop saying to me, can I answer you? Well, yeah, if you're speaking, well, I if you want to answer, you one. have, you, you go ahead, answer. Nobody's stopping you. The 6th century and the 21st century is different. In that time, I don't care. Okay, this I is a message came to Muhammad, and now you are in trouble. You said this is our creating a bicycle. This is stupid. But because this is a Quran came to I, Muhammad in the time of Muhammad. So I'm asking now, you, what the people created in the time of Muhammad made okay. Allah, oh, okay, made Allah excited you. to say he is the best of the creators. Go ahead. I got you. I got you. I can answer you. Okay. What do you think? I, I can't answer you. I got your answer in the you, time you, of You told me I don't know. You forgot? You told me I don't know yourself. Because you make people crazy. You don't listen. So you are crazy. Okay. You. You don't listen. In the time of Muhammad, alayhi salam, mm. people were creating home from dirt. There's an example. They were creating what? Ho a home from dirt. That's, <laughs> That's how deep. people lived. That's deep. So that means yeah, Allah I'm is the best of... Example. Okay, you see, no, no, you give me an example. We have to go by the example. That means Allah, at that time, he was giving example that he compared himself to those who make house from dirt. His house made from dirt, and he is the best builder. Where, where, does, it say, where does it say that Allah compared himself? Show me. It's proof. in front of you. The second you say he is the best of the creators, he is... He he did, what the word, he best, what the word best What the word best mean? What the word, be, what the word best mean? He didn't compare himself. He friend, what the word best mean? Explain to me the word best. Best mean he's the greatest. Okay, the greatest, not the great. Greatest, correct? Exactly. Okay, that's, that's what greatest, I've been telling you. if you Am know I English, if, if you claim you do not know Arabic, no problem. You, but, but don't you know English? The second you say the best or the, uh, or the greatest, that's meaning you are comparing yourself to something else. I believe my English is greater than yours. Okay, so Allah, he, he said, he is the best, and he tell us best of what? He says the best of the creator. So whatever that the creator is, 
Allah comparing himself to that the creator. He can be this according to your you. ideology. No, this is not my this ideology. Is this, ideology. Is the Quran, this is what the Quran. The Quran is not saying that. It's in the front of you. The Quran is saying no one can create like him. No one can. Okay, repeat again. I just answered you 1,000 times. You just I said, said no one. Being, you just said no one can create like him. Exactly. That's the context. Okay. So there is other creators. There is no other creators like you forgot I just about, told you. You earlier. forgot you about. Went, you forgot you know, about. You, you forgot about so Jesus, bad. my friend. You, you forgot that busted. Jesus. You forgot that the Quran says that Jesus he created from the mud, the bird, living bird, and he breathed into it. By by the will of Allah. Doesn't matter. He's a creator. No. Well, no, the Quran says, "I create for the Quran." Does the Quran says, "I create for you"? Does it say that? That that is a miracle. Ah, well, Jesus is all about miracle. Thank you very much. So the Quran is a stupid god, and not only that, will no. be, still this won't solve the problem because no. if Allah compared Himself to Jesus, that Jesus is a creator and He is a creator, the Arabic says Al Khaliqin, Al -khal not Al Khaliqin. So Al Khaliqin, there's more than two. So now we have Allah, we have Jesus, confirm in Islam that they are creators. Who is else? Finish, go finish, finish. Who's else? I'm asking. I said that that is a miracle in all prophets, all prophets. My friend, uh, guys, Jesus, this is a miracle, but isn't the creation, prophets. the creation itself is a miracle. What what kind of an answer right. is that? We know that Jesus is the, is the miracle person who can do miracle nobody can do. We got that. So I'm asking you, don't tell me it's a miracle. We know it's a miracle. The creation of a human being is a miracle. The creation of a tree is a miracle. The creation of a mosquito is a miracle. So I'm asking you, now we have two creators. One is Jesus, one is Allah, according to no. Muslim. But Allah, no. he cannot prove no. that he can create. No, no, you no, see, no, 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 it's what, not like that. What That's is the ideology. proof that Allah can create a bird like Jesus? If there's any proof? Allah created the heavens and the earth, which is greater than okay, the Okay, look you at the verse in the front stupid. of me. How Allah, he is the creator. He do not know how the baby is created. How he does not know that the baby is created? Yeah, look, look how he created the baby. He claimed that Nutfa, the sperm, would become that blood. That's true. Which science says that? Oh, you want to go into science books now? If I go over there, you're gonna you're gonna be embarrassed. Go ahead. You're gonna embarrass. Prof Professor you. Professor Faisal, go ahead. Go yeah, That's not even how you pronounce my name. First of all, Faisal is not your name. That's not how you pronounce it. I said. How how you pronounce it? You don't even know. That's a different. You can't even pronounce my name properly, and you're talking about science. But I am the Arab, and you are not, right? If Faisal is not how you say it. Uh, what do you name Fasul? No, it's Faisal. Fasul, yeah. Learn. Anyway. Okay, okay anyway, anyway. So, this, what kind of God he claimed? Know. Okay, you know? okay I'm, on, no, you on. see, I want you to show me the science. I want you to show me the science which says that semen... I be... can only show you if you be quiet for a second. Okay, I will be quiet. I will be quiet for sixty seconds. Go ahead, show me the science. If you be quiet, then people. Show me the science. Show me the science. This is the only. Thing Show me the science. To. Stop complaining. Flat tire. Stop complaining. Show me the science. I Go ahead. I am going there. I am going there. Mm. You're scared. You're so scared. Very scared. Very like scared. I'm afraid that you, your semen will become a not for be, be, uh, a clot of a blood before we finish. You know, I was I, I was dying laughing the other day. I couldn't call. I know you, you must have died laughing when I speak about Muhammad. Skype, I know. So now your answer. Skype, your Skype answer. Off. Answer. To call you answer. You an answer. And so, I was dying laughing. Okay, then I'll right, stop. Islam, don't don't forget to hang up on you. I have no time. I have a lot of Muslim chicken waiting for me. You're a liar. You are the liar. Your, your prophet is a liar. Your God is a liar. Here we go. The baby is made. The sperm became a piece of a blood. Who is the donkey will believe in that? You said you said you, you will give me. You said you want to give me science. Fire, right? Shut up. You said you want to give me science. Talk. Go ahead. You said black people are created for hellfire. You made that up. I did. You made it up. Okay, what if I show the hadith? Show me. All right. Show me. Be a man and show me. If I show you what you would do, you believe Islam is true? Show me. If, if you I show, show you, me, then you're, then, you're, then you're truthful. Okay, but if I show you, you will leave Islam? Show me first. No, I'm asking you, what is the purpose of showing if you, what, what, would, what you would do next? Because it doesn't say what you're saying. Really? Are you, show sh me. Are you sure? Show me. Be a man and show me. 
Okay, can you give me like a day or two to find the reference? I, I give you days, show me. What about two days? Show me, man. There is no, there is no such hadith. There is no such a hadith. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I, I, but I need some time. You know, I need like three to five days or three years to find it. But I will try my best to find it this year. What do you think? Show me. It's in the front of you on the screen. Read it. Okay. Bring you. Black people are created for hellfire. This is how you make stuff. Okay, up. read the it. The audience will die laughing. Okay, read it. It's not here. It's not on the screen. It's on the screen now. Refresh your eyes. Loading, I guess. Refresh your eyes. Say inshallah. Making stuff up, right? Read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's read it together. Let's read it. Go can ahead. you make it a little bigger so I can see? Yeah, size does matter. I know. Go ahead. Okay, Allah's messenger's peace and blessings be upon him said Allah created Adam when he created him and he struck his right shoulder from offspring and they were white hands. All right, and they were white hands. Uh, uh, are you there? No, I am not there. I'm here. You are there. I, I know because I also had a call from somewhere else. I thought that you. Oh, uh, yeah, you have a call now. But your call just came in the perfect time, so you will stop reading. Continue reading. No, no, no. I'm reading. I'm reading. Okay. I, I, I brought the topic. I'm going to finish it. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is not talking about. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. I read it. Re no, read it. No, read, read it. Read it. Can you make it bigger? Read it. Can you make it bigger? So I will I give you. Speak? I will give you the link. Is that fine? Give me the link, sure. All right, here we go. Oh, no, I got it now. It's good, it's good. Oh, you got it now? And now I see. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. So he struck uh, his left shoulder, and there were emitted from it the black offspring as they were charcoal. He said to those that have been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I do not mind. Then he said to those who have been emitted from his left shoulder, they are for hell, and I do not mind. Can hmm. I answer you? So what are you doing now? Go ahead. This is not talking about skin, and I have proof. Uh, okay, what they are talking about? I have, I have proof. We can go to the authentic book of Sahih Muslim, and you will be destroyed and debunked. Uh, uh, explain this hadith for me, and we will see if it's about the black this or white. This is talking about mm. evil and good. Uh -huh. So does it say here that those of a spring, they are black like charcoal? Who, who's a, which human being is as black as charcoal? Can you show me one? African. Uh, they're not as black as charcoal. They are very, there are some, they are very dark black, yeah? Bilal radiallahu ta'ala, who was a very black uh, do, person, Listen, don't, 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 uh, don't be charcoal. stupid now. Who are they, those people who they are dark, they are charcoal? Tell me. They are human. They're, You're a stupid no prophet. Like listen, them. don't make me, and people human. are laughing at you. Your prophet says there's two kinds of they're human only. You. Your prophet says there's two they're kinds of, there's you. two kinds of offspring of Adam. There's no third, you donkey. So there's two of a spring. One is white, like white ants, and one are the other one, they are black, like a black circle. Are you accusing your prophet that he's a stupid? I'm not accusing Okay, so your God, your God told uh, Muhammad that Adam have two kinds of offspring. One coming from the right shoulder, and they are the white people, and they are white like white ants. They are not ants, they are human. They are offspring of Adam. And there is black, who they are black like shirkur. And then Allah, he says to those who they are from the right shoulder, which means the white one, you go to paradise and I don't care. And then he said to the one who they are coming from the left shoulder, which means the black one, you go to hell and I don't mind. Are you done talking? Are you done being a racist? I'm not racist here. You are? Racist. This, is, this is a very filthy statement from a very filthy prophet, racist prophet. Black people it's are not, no, not black people that. are no different than white people and who, what this have to do with so according to your stupid God, Allah He created the white people from the beginning to go to heaven, and He created the white people to go to the uh, uh, white people go he, to heaven he and the black people he to go to hell. The hadith in front of you. Yes, and okay. I'm explaining it. Take you your uh, ex 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 explain the hadith. Okay, who is the black? Who are they? The offspring of Adam, who they are black like Shirk. Go ahead. People that people that don't have good in them. Why they are black by color? It doesn't talk about black by color. You're get lost.
Guys, it doesn't take about black color. It says they are black, like charcoal. And doesn't talk about black of color. And the right shoulder, they are white, like white ants. He's giving you a color of an object. White ants and black charcoal. Charcoal is a physical material. Ants are living creatures. White ants is the example of the spring of Adam who will go to heaven. Black of spring, they are black and they are like charcoal. And then the Muslim, they have the mouth to say, it doesn't say that CP. It doesn't say that CP. And the funny, he said that I was laughing at you. And this is Jamia al Turmudi, hadith number 38, and this is your Muslim website. What a faith he called. A black person have nothing to do with his color with being bad or good. Same for the white one. There's white ones, they are very evil. There's black one, they are very evil. There's white one, they are very bad, very good. And there's black people, they are very good. What does this have to do with the color? But because the faith in Muhammad is very racist and he is a white supremacist man, that's why the Quran says it clearly, not only in the hadith, that in the judgment day, Allah will make all Muslims white. Literally white, not metaphorically. Chapter 3, verse 106. If we go to chapter 27, verse number 82, the end chapter, we will find that Allah, He will send the beast. And this beast is going to have the staff of Moses. A beast will come from the earth will have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, magical tools, and is going to hit the disbeliever in his face, and then will make a black spot in his face, and then is going to turn all his body black. Read it. It says here, this is a description of the animal, the beast. It will bring out the, the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and there will be no believer left without making a white spot on his face, which will spread until his face is shining white as a result. So all Muslims are very white. Now the disbelievers, and there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face which is going to spread until his face is black as a result. And then the liars, they say, it doesn't say that, CP. And this is God. Notice, not a single one of them, he can even answer who is God. This God is an idiot. He claimed that he is the only creator. He say he is the best of the creators. How stupid is that? And then we find that Jesus is the creator in the Quran. And then we have a Muslim, he called us from Nigeria. He claimed that the angels in Islam, they create with Allah too. He have a high rank society. This is why when Allah, he say we, he mean himself and high rank society. Do you see how stupid this cult is? When Allah, he say we, he's speaking about high society. Maybe this is ultimate fault. Text to me again.
Hello? Hello? Okay, don't answer. Go ahead. Do we have a single Abdul? He knew what he's talking about. So all this uh, headache about this God, Allah has a chair is so big. Who cares if his chair is why his, his ass is big? Allah do not need anything. So why he have a chair and why he carried by eight angels? This universe means nothing to Allah. And then we find that this universe, uh, Allah, he says, Allah created everything for Muhammad. So what do you mean this universe means nothing? All the universe is made for Muhammad. That means Allah is exists to serve Muhammad. Muhammad is the God. Muhammad, he claimed that Allah taught him that if not him is exist, Allah would not create anything, period. Nothing, period. And then in those videos, they say to you, who is Allah? Allah who is the one who cares for nothing in this universe, for he own it all. Allah and Allah and Allah. And then we find that Allah even don't speak good Arabic. Have you ever heard of a God? He make a book and he claimed that his book is perfect. And then he promised to rewrite his book and make it better. How many times we heard the Muslims speaking about amazing the Quran in Arabic, which is we dying laughing at it. Read this and laugh. This is God talking. Chapter 2, verse 106. This God, he said, any verses we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. How many times we heard the Muslims saying that the Quran preserve, preserve. Allah himself, he caused you to forget the Quran, which is stupid. Why you, there's something a shame for you wanting to forget? Why you wanted to forget? How does God, he says, he want to preserve the Quran and then he caused the same person, he caused you to forget the Quran. We are going to bring better or similar. How stupid is this statement? Is we more stupid than the, 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 the stupid itself? Because if Allah, he is perfect, that means his book should be perfect. How Allah is going to write a better book than his book? How Allah can write better Quran, better than the Quran of Allah? Do you see it? This is the same God. He promised us he will write better Quran. What do you mean better Quran? And to make it more stupid, he says, or similar. This is more poo-poo. If it is similar, why do you want to write it back? Why you want to for cause us to forget it? And why you abrogate it if you want to make something similar? This story is very simple. Muhammad, he cannot remember the Quran. Each time he recites the Quran, he says it differently. So he have to come with his excuse. He says, or oh, any verses, Allah, he told me, any verses, he caused me to forget. Or, you know, you know, Allah will give me something better or similar. Okay, takbir. But this is destroy the nature of this God. If Allah is perfect, Allah don't make mistakes. So why Allah want to cause you to forget a mistake he did and he will make something similar or better? Similar? Similar mistake? So why you cause me to forget this, the first mistake? Uh, you see this if We can't even call it a religion. What is this? Brothers and sisters, I made a few books, as you know. I promise you, I'm going to write my rewrite my first book in uh, uh, deception of Allah, and I promise you, I will be, I will burn my book and I will write book similar book.
people will laugh at me well, so why you are burning your book to make us forget the book to write similar book who is the crazy here too much hashish and then I claim to be God, and then I promise you I will write better Quran because I went to school and I study better English now, and my English now is better. Okay, so I will write better. What? What do you mean better? You were you were not good enough in the first book. You see, is it me who is saying the word better? Is that my translation? Is that my statement? Imagine there's a God. He will write better Quran than his previous Quran. Well, that's mean Allah he noticed that there is something wrong in his Quran otherwise how it can be better and this Quran is so clear to the point Muslims everyone he give us his own interpretation as he wish every one of them he have different and new brand new interpretation with a new logo and then if you open the interpretation of the Quran, look at this. Let me go to the Arabic. This is the official government website of Jordan. I'm switching to Arabic. Thousands and thousands and thousands of interpretation. And they disagree with each other. And at the end of every interpretation, they add a word in Arabic says, Allah knows best. Disclaimer. This is how clear the Quran. This is how good the Arabic. Now those are the Arab who do not know how to explain the Quran. So how about those who don't speak an Arab, one Arabic word? Look, look at this. Look, look how many books. Look, look, look. I don't know. Like I wish I can show you. You know. What about those who don't speak an Arabic word? One Arabic word. So millions of interpretation for the Quran. And they disagree. And this is only Sunni. Now we do not show you the Shia. We do not show you the Ahmadiyya. We do not show you the, old, the madness. And then at the end, Allah knows best. And there's three opinions. There's five opinions. As an example, if we ask a Muslim, for how long a woman she can have a baby in her womb? What is the opinion? What is the answer in the religion? You will die laughing if I show you. Let me see if I can find it in English. Opinion, brother. Opinion. Yeah, the religion of opinion. Let us see if we can find it in English. In our in English. That will save us from using. Let us go to Arabic then. I cannot fight in English. Read with me and try not to die laughing. How long a woman she can carry a child, she can stay, you know, uh, having a child in her womb. For how long? And this is the question, and this is the answer. And this is Google Translation. Peace be upon him. Let us go Google, Google Translation. Go down. Opinion number one. The maximum is nine months. Opinion number two. One year. Opinion number three, according to Hanafi, two years. Now we got by the heavy duty sect. Those are the four major sect of Islam, which mean uh, the Muslim Sunni, they are four sect. Hanafi is one of the major ones. Three, this is 
uh, Hanafi school, the Hanafi sect. Three years according to uh, al Layth ibn Sa'd. Five years, which is the view of a Shafi. This is the second sect. And Hanbali, this is the third sect. Five years. You divorce your wife. Your wife, she can call you after five years claiming that she have a son from you. And not only that, and the most popular of the two view according to the Maliki. So now we have Shafi'i, Hanbali, Maliki. The three major sect of Islam believe that it is five years. Are we done? No. Five years, which is narration of Imam Malik. This is the sect of Maliki. Six years is narration of Az-Zuhri and Malik. Seven years, I'm sure I continue. And then they go, number eight, there's no limit. Brother and sisters, there's no limit. You divorce your wife. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Ten years ago, she called you ten years after. She say, hey, honey, do you remember me? Uh, who uh, was talking? Khadija, Khadija. Okay, Khadija, what do you want? Why are you are calling me now? I divorced you 27 years ago. Oh, I have a baby from you. What the heck? What do you mean have a baby from me? I did not touch you for 27 years. And he is your baby, and I have the proof. What is your proof? You look ugly like you. How do you explain that? <laughs> you know I'm very beautiful. <laughs> this is a religion. So they make videos, speeches, how amazing this God, how, how you know, powerful this God, and, you know, and the God who made the baby, the semen from potato, tomato, he made the blood became a semen, and the semen became a blood. And then the semen became a blood, after that became a lump, and then the lump became a, a meat, and then the meat became a bone. And you know, this is why like, there's a band, it's called Bony M. Bony M. What a bony religion. And then the other idiot, you show me, I was laughing at you, lying, saying that Allah made the black people to go to hell. It doesn't say that, CP. What the heck? Okay, read it. It doesn't say that. What the heck? Read it. This is your imagine. It says the office spring. They are office spring and they as wear circle. Black like circle. It doesn't say that, CP. What's wrong with this religion? Hashish, hashish. You know what the hashish? Wuma adrakam al hashish. This is a religion. The God, the amazing God. And then this God, you don't even know which one he created. You don't remember, I forgot. Which one I created first, the stars or the mountains? The stars or the mountains? Solve it now. And then this God, he is so smart to the point, he come with a way to discover if this is a book from God. Very smart method. And this is the same method, Mimi Hijab, our sister Mimi Hijab, she told uh, Borat about it. Mimi, sister Mimi, she told Borat a very reasonable thing. What is the reasonable thing? In it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing. Hold on, hold on. I, the voice was down. Listen, listen to the wisdom of Allah. This guy, he wanted to get Borat busted. I mean, even Borat, you, you could not get him busted. He busted you. Even the dummy Borat who, ha who lost his teeth. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> Do you see how stupid this religion? This is a challenge made by God. Anyone can make a book, have no contradiction, so? And then we find that his book is full of contradiction. I mean, I wish he was keeping his promise that, okay, you know what, there's no contradiction. And then we find every chapter is a contradiction. Hashish. This is the religion of hashish. Wa inna anzalna al-hashish. 
وجعلنا فيهم دين التحجيش تحش... التجحيش What is this? And then Mimi Hijab with the, with his, with the name of that person, Patterson, he recites for him Quran, says, if we recite this Quran on a mountain, we'll make him collapse. He recites the Quran, nothing happened to that guy. He was saying, what, what is this? Do you see how stupid this religion is? And this amazing God, who is really amazing, he thinks that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. No wonder the weather, weather news is screwed up in the Middle East. You should watch the weather news in Saudi Arabia. Brother and sister, if Allah will, if Allah will, and only if Allah will, Tomorrow we might have a cloud. If and only if, remember, brother, if Allah will. The guy, he is so terrified to say tomorrow we will have rain because they will kill him. He have to add the word will. Otherwise, he predicting the future and nobody knows. When is going to rain save Allah? What a stupid cult. If there is anyone knows beside Allah when the rain will come, and this is confirmed by the way in a Sahih hadith. Let me find it actually. I just remember this hadith. There's five things nobody knows, brother. Five things nobody knows except Allah. Read and laugh. Sahih. This is Bukhari. And this is coming from the Quran too. Allah Apostol says the key of the unseen, which means this is the key. five keys. Nobody have those keys except Allah. They are locked. The information about those things, brother, they are locked in the closet of Allah. Okay, what is the five things which nobody knows save Allah, brother? Read carefully, brother. None knows what will happen tomorrow but Allah. So those who tell you it's going to rain tomorrow, they are not telling the truth. Those who warn you about tornado or hurricane or snowstorm, they are liars. None knows what is in the womb, male or female, but Allah. Are you sure? We have a machine will cost you ten dollars. Can take us. Uh, <laughs> None knows when it will rain, but Allah. Are you sure? Nobody knows when it's going to rain, but Allah. Nobody knows where you will die, but Allah, like a guy is in jail. He is sentenced for 50 years. Where is going to die? In Paris? In Germany? Nobody knows where he's going to die. And supposedly, this is what Allah made, what, uh, what made Allah unique. Nobody knows. Muhammad is speaking sure, you know, he's very sure. You know Muhammad, you don't say things without being sure. Did we have a good time, guys? I know that this time is not good for people in like Indonesia and or Asia. Uh, but as you see, we get more calls in this time. So we will try to like reschedule from time to time. Sometime will come at night, sometime will come early morning, sometime will come like now, in order, you know, to reach to everybody, give them opportunity to join us live. Uh, uh, just be sure you can subscribe to our Patreon. 
I know many of you don't care to support us, but at least in Patreon, you can receive notification about when I'm coming to go live, and you'll receive it right away. Uh, you know, YouTube is not doing that for some reason. I don't even know the reason. You know the thing? <laughs> they love me. <laughs> they they reduce my uh, subscriptions, I think, 10,000. And supposedly those are not uh, active subscribers. <laughs> uh, as you see, my friends, Islam is very stupid. It's the most stupid cult ever. I can't believe even a human being for a second can believe in such a garbage. If Allah is God, you do not even need to seduce me and tempt me sexually to believe in him. God do not. This is again the nature of holiness of God. This is Satan. Temptation to believe. Temptation to believe. So when this God, he promised me a house made one, one brick is from gold and one brick made of silver. And then we are living in heaven. So what silver and gold for? And this will be ugly house. Try to paint. Try to paint. In your screen. A wall. One brick of gold and one brick of silver. And you will see. Try to do it in your room. If you are a child, don't do that. Okay? Your, your dad will, will, will uh, spank you. You will see how ugly this is. I mean, one brick of gold, one brick of silver. This is not a house. I prefer to live in a house made of wood. They are beautiful. Wood is so beautiful. Actually, the most expensive houses is the one is made totally from wood. They call them cabinet in USA. Extremely expensive. Because they are beautiful. But living inside metal, this is not heaven. And then promise me non-stop sex. This is sex addiction. This is not happiness no more. And they're promising me that you will have a penis will never go limp. That's not from God. And 80,000 little child, they will do what? They will serve me, child abuse. How in the world I can be happy, enjoying my life, seeing 80,000? This is the lowest reward. This is what? This is the lowest reward. Not the highest. What kind of God he promised you to be? Ten times more rich than any king of this earth. What rich mean? What are you taught? What kings? The lowest person in heaven, the Muslim, the lowest person, the one who will enter the heaven at the last one. Allah will negotiate with him what he like to be. Read it. The Messenger of Allah said, Musa's ask Allah. Musa, this is Musheikh. You know Musheikh. He's a Jew. He want to open a bank in heaven. So he asked Allah, who among the inhabitants of the Jannah to be the lowest in rank? And look here, how stupid the answer compared to the question. Because look, Allah supposedly answering Musa's about a question. The question is, who is the one? Who is that person? Name him. Look what Allah said. He will be a person. Look, what the heck? He just told you who is the person. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid like this? Who is the person who will be the lowest in heaven? You say to him, he is a person? I mean, who is the one who made this story? Is he a donkey or a donkey? I just told you who is the person. You tell me who is a, he's a person. I'm saying who is among the inhabitants of Jannah will be the lowest. I'm talking about a specific individual. Who is he? You say to me he's a person. And then the, the comedy continue. It will be a person will be the lowest uh, 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 who will be admitted to the Jannah the last one, brother. He just told you. This is why he is in the lowest, because he is at the end. The lowest is the is the is the is the first floor. The agenda of Islam is the floors. The higher you go, 
the higher you are. The last one of all, when the doors of Jannah have entered the Jannah, it will be said to him, Enter Jannah. But he will say, O oh, Rab, O oh, Rab, uh, how, how I should enter while people they settled in their uh, apartments? Look, 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 this guy. Suddenly, this guy is not a believer. Suddenly, he thinks that Allah have a shortness of, short, shortness of housing. I mean, have you ever heard a stupid conversation like this? Oh, this guy, he believed that Allah is almighty, blah, 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 blah. This is, why he, this is how he earned to be in heaven. And now he's asking, I think there's no more place for me. People, they took all the apartments. There's more apartments, Allah. And then and they are taking their shares and their shares, their stocks, you know. Everybody will take his shares. It will be said to him, look, it will be said to him. You will be satisfied and pleased if you have a kingdom like of the world kingdoms. What the heck? That's deep. The guy is asking for apartment. Allah is saying, "Do you like to be have a to have a kingdom? Kingdom in heaven? If the lowest one will have kingdom, that's mean what the highest one will have." How many kingdom? Madness. And then he will say, It will be content, Allah. Thank you very much. And Allah will say, Hmm. For you is that. And do you like that and like that and like that and like that and like that? Allah, he keeps saying that five times. And do you like that and like that and like that? And which means the double, the double, the double, five times. The guy he says, Okay, Allah, okay, Allah, I'm so pleased now, I'm so pleased, pleased. Thank you, Allah, thank you very much. Allah will say to him, Hmm. Okay, okay. For you and ten times more than that. Look, so now we have five times time, five times more time. And now 10 times more than the five times. So now we have 50 kingdoms. This is, is that right? And then he said to him, and whatever you wish, I mean, you stupid idiot. As long whatever he wish, why you are counting to him how many kingdom he would have if you just say, and whatever your soul desire. As long whatever your soul desire, it means all those numbers mean nothing. Medusa stupidity is like saying to a guy, go inside the, the garage and get, I will give you one car. Is that happy? Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, I will give you now. Uh, oh, one more and one more and one more and one more. Are you happy? You say, yeah, yeah. And then I will say, okay, and ten, uh, one more time. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. And then you say to him, whatever you wish. You stupid, just tell him, well, go and take whatever you wish. So what one time, five time, ten time, four? You just told the guy, whatever you wish. Whatever your, your soul desire and your eyes delight in. What if this guy want to have sex with Muhammad? Whatever you wish. If you remember, actually, once I was talking to a Muslim, he said, so what? I said, what if somebody want to have sex with Muhammad? He wished to have sex with Muhammad. He's a, he's a, he's a gay. He said, whatever you wish. <clears throat> this is a religion, as long as you add the word before it. But the second you, you, you just read, you will see how stupid it is. And this is why you see all those people, they are like, they didn't know what to say. I mean, they are trying to defend, but it's a, it's a hilarious comedy. Sometimes I have patience to listen to the stupidity, sometimes I don't. But this is a really stupid cult. How many of you would download the video and share it? I'm so happy to see many of you have hundreds of thousands of you of my videos. Many of you even making money from them by, uh, you know, advertising. I don't mind. But please, when you download my videos and share them in different channels, just put where you get them from so people, they can come and join us live. 
remember we have a target here is to teach and educate and we want more people to see and more people to hear but having people here in the live chat in the live broadcast is very important so we can get them busted live and the reason i take calls from muslims is just to show you how stupid this cult because if I go live by myself, debate myself, win alone, you know, this is what the Muslims do. They get two Muslims, three Muslims, they start making fun of Christianity, and they win because, you know, debating nobody. Or if they want to debate, they debate somebody, you have no idea. They choose carefully who they want to debate. That's why all those who claim to have knowledge, they say, only want to debate me only face to face, brother. Only face to face, nobody want to do it as to ass. They never saw their God. If you ask Muslims, who saw your God? Who saw Allah? Nobody. Did Muhammad saw Allah? No. So what do you know about Allah? Nothing. He is supreme. He is so high. High where? Do you even ask yourself, uh, 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 how does God, he's, like, look at this. This guy, Allah, he come every day in the third part of the night. Where is the hadith? Did any Muslim ask himself, how you Muslims you keep saying that Allah is not like anyone? Allah cannot be inside his creation. By the way, Mimi Hijabi admitted finally that Allah can be inside his creation. Shawad son of Muta. Allah come every day, every day, in the third part of the night, and he asks a question, who is praying for me? If Allah is almighty, and he is all hearing, and his chair is fit the heaven and the earth, how Allah is going down to earth every third part of the night? And is the earth is a flat or do we have third part of the night? Do we have one time? How many third part of the night we have? According to Muhammad, because he believed the earth is a flat, Allah, he come down every day. In the third part of the night. And he asked who is praying for me. I feel sorry for this God. If this is true. Every day. Is that the comment is coming down? I saw a comment is coming down to the earth. Maybe this is Allah coming in the third part of the night. What is the point of this stupid silly conversation? Who is going? Nobody hear him saying that. So Allah, he come down to the third part of the night every day and he say the same sentence. And then nobody hear it. And it's not even the time the Muslim they pray. And how Allah is so big, and then he go inside the earth. That's mean Allah is smaller than his chair. And he's so small. Because if you look at the earth, comparing to the universe, the earth is like a piece of, it's not even a dust. So in one hand, they say to you how God can become a man. And then we find that their God is an idiot. He have two hands, he have a face, he have a shin. Even he changed his shape like yesterday, last time we spoke to Sepharaz. In the beginning, they deny it, and then they have to agree with it. As you see, no Muslim was able to answer us to tell us, who is Allah? But I have the answer. Allah is a fiction name. Does not exist. The Lord, the Messiah, he said, who is the father of all lies? Who is the father of all lies? Satan. So Allah is one of the lies of Satan. To deceive you, to mislead you. And the Satan is smart. So he tried to use the name Jesus sometime to deceive you. That's why the Messiah, he says, be aware of false teachers. 
They will say to you, I am a prophet, false prophet. They will come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. And even the sheep Muhammad did not use. He used the clothes of wolf. Maybe in the beginning he was a sheep. As soon he got an army, he starts slaughtering anyone don't agree with him. Allah is one of the satanic lies of Satan. This is why all his religion is based on sex and money. If we believe what we get, sex, what else? Money. What else? Gold. What else? Diamonds. What else? Rubies. What else? Beautiful boys to serve us. They are so white like pearl. What else? Women to F. What else? Whatever you wish. Just use your imagination. Just convert to the cult of the devil. Not to forget to mention how evil it is, the teaching. How satanic. How hateful. There's no human being. He have little dignity. He will accept that little boys will be serving him in heaven for eternity. They will be slaves. Muslims, they say those are not for sex. If we assume that those are not for sex, why they are so handsome? And do you like to be one of them? What kind of God he abused little boys and he make them slaves for eternity? 80,000 little boy, the lowest reward. Those of us will be enjoying seeing little boys serving him. That is disgusting. That is evil. That is satanic. And this is a chapter 52, verse number 24. And by the way, many of you might be confused when you say chapter. Islam never had chapter. The Muslim, they try to make Quran look like the Bible. That's why when they sing it, they are trying to copy the Christian who sing the Bible. If you go and watch videos of the Christian Aramaic, the Aramaic who sing the Bible, the whole Bible, they sing it. They don't read it. The Muslim, they try to copy the Christian singing. Let us see. Now, for sure, those who they are, you know, from the Middle East, from those churches, they knew what I'm talking about. Even like in the Easter, they recite in the Bible, the four gospel, four time, which means they spend the whole night singing it. I have tons of videos, but I will try to show you just one, you know, will be enough. This is the prayer, our Father out of heaven, in the Aramaic language. And this is how the Christian, they sing it. This is why Muhammad and the Muslims, they try to copy the Christian singing.
I hope you did enjoy listening to this, the prayer of the Lord, our Father out of heaven, which is taught by the Lord himself. And uh, when they ask him how to pray, and you will notice that the most important thing in Christianity, that when you want to pray, is not to think about yourself. That's why it says, forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. So the first thing with Christ, you learn how to forgive. Before you think about yourself, you think about others. Christ, he came, for he think of you, not because he think of himself. And he wanted you to be Christ-like. Islam is a sexual cult, violent, hatred, and it's making you worshiping yourself and your sexual desire and money desire. With the Messiah, you are high in rank. You are living with the living God. That's why you will be a different creature. You will not think of yourself. For yourself will be a different person. You will be noble. You will be amazing. You will be spiritual. You will be loving. You will be giving. Not thinking to take and take and take. The first sickness a human being he suffer from is taking and never giving. In Christ, he gave himself to give you an example. How far you can go in your giving. He washed the feet so he can tell you how far you can go in serving. And he said to his disciple, the one who don't want me to do that, he don't belong to me, which means washing their feet. That is the Lord we worship. He was washing our feet. And this is our best example. Those who wash the feet, God will wash his, their tears. Those who serve, God will make them masters. For the masters are the best servant. 
not the opposite. People seek to be masters because they want everybody to serve them. In Christianity, you seek to be servant, you become a master. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to join us on Patreon if you care. And if you don't care, the Lord does. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a joke, and we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 